Hi guys, welcome back to another hopefully amazing VCV rack tutorial. I'm the Cliff Factor, drinking beers, smoking cigarettes, and today I want to talk about Automaton. Automaton, I don't know how to pronounce this guy, and Chaos. And you're listening to a little patch that I prepared. Okay, but let's get rid of this for the moment and let's load another patch. My mouse is sucking a little bit, so mm, hopefully, it will get, uh, hopefully it will work. Okie dokie, this is our patch. Now, um, when this came out a few days ago, I don't know, um, I was trying to figure out what Automaton was doing and it was like did not what I expected and I remember that I played with the same stuff in processing a while ago but it did not work at all and I was really like yeah, annoyed and bored and yeah however now I think today there came a new version out or yesterday I don't know and since then this guy is working okay it's here on Macintosh, maybe on Windows it worked before, however. Now, I don't want to explain you all about cellular, automaton stuff. That is, uh, you can read that in the internet somewhere. There's so much material outside. Or check out YouTube, the coding train again. Okay, I will only explain what this module does. And, um, okay, this, um, it's all about something like cells or bits. We have eight bits here. And uh, let's talk about this bit, okay? The bit can, can be zero or one, off or on, okay? This is one, this is zero. Now, um, we have different possibilities. Um, about this bit and the neighborhood, okay? You have these two guys here, these are neighbors of this bit. And so all three can be off, or this right guy can be on, one, zero, zero, okay? Or this one be, can be, uh, this one can be on one, and these guys in, on zero, and so on. And here on this side, we have the possible states of values of of these bits because uh, we have two different values and three bits that makes uh, yeah that make egg makes eight different possibilities okay this is what we got here so we got eight bits to make one byte I don't know we have eight different possibilities to click these three guy on or off okay. Now on this side you set the rules. There's written rule here, you see. And what this guy does is the following thing. Always think in these three bits. And the center bit, this is this one, this is the important one, okay? So let's set all these guy, guys on here. And we will talk about this bit. And now if you set the rule, this is a positive voltage here to this guy. That means uh, one, one bit has a no is on zero and the neighbors are in zero and well as well. If this is true, then this one bit, this center bit gets high, like one, okay? And when I click step here, you see, this got high. And now, um, let's show with, with the same rule the next step. The next step would be one, two, three. This one should get high. One, two, three. This one should get high again. One, two, three. This one should get high again. One, two, three. This one. And now um, it's going on here. One, two, and three. So this one should get high again, okay? These five guys, okay? Now let's click step. Yeah, my mouse is sucking, okay? See? And that's all what Chaos is doing. 
Automaton, Automaton, I don't know how to pronounce this guy, is exactly the same. It's only the first part of chaos. That's why I won't explain it. Yeah, this is like from here to here minus this. Okay, whatever. So uh, let's try a few of those guys. Um, let's initialize this. Now we we uh, when we put this rule zero zero one. Okay, zero zero one. Then this guy should be active and zero zero one. This guy should be active. Okay. Let's see. Boom. You see this and this, and so on. Zero one. Zero, zero, one, zero. These guys should stay active. And you see? And this is always the new generation and this is the old generation of these guys. Okay? Now, I, I won't go through all of this, okay? Let's do one, uh, one more example. I think you got it. Zero, one, one. Zero, one, one. Zero, one, one. So this and this guy should stay active, okay? That's it. Okay, I need a cigarette. Now in the manual is written that um, depending on this value scan, you can make it like zero or negative or positive. The direction of how this guy is read uh, changes. Um, it doesn't work here on Mac, okay? Maybe it works on Windows. So if this uh, works for you, that would mean that you don't read like 011 one from here, you would start here reading 001001 and the logic as well uh, would go from, yeah, from the floor or from the bottom to the top, okay? So, that's mostly it. Um, these actives, uh, what is going to be active here, gives you a gate here. And the elder generation gives you gates here. Now here you have a little bit, a uh, little of logic stuff. This is uh, super simple. You can activate these guys by clicking, by the way. So let's, ah, yeah, I have here a, a meter. So now there's nothing happening. You get a gate when both are on. See, five volts. Then, or is even this one is on, you get a gate. This one, this is here, you get a gate. Um, both are on, you get a gate. And here you get no gate, okay? And XOR is. Um, if this one is on, you get a gate. If this guy is on, you get a gate. And if they both are on, you won't get a gate. And if they are off, you won't get a, get, get a gate as well, okay? This is really nice. You can yeah, mix here your gates and, and uh, give them more logic stuff, okay? So for instance, uh, if, if you use this for a drum sound and you feel the sound is kicking too, oft, too often, so use an end, yeah? Or depending on what's going on here, okay? So that's the most, mostly what's happening here. Now, as an example, this is the example in the manual as well. Um, we use these four guys. Oh no, look, I'm the stupid guy here. Um, we set this rule two, three, four, five, okay? And now what we can do, ah, this is a nice module I, would show you, uh, I wanted to show you as well. The B du Moiré. Moire. Moiré. I think there is uh, there should be an accent. Okay, however. This is a real nice controller, by the way, where you can yeah, connect stuff together, outputs. And now let's connect all these eight outputs. This is only to show, by the way, another module that is really interesting. And this uh, it doesn't it is not that uh, difficult that I should make a whole tutorial about this, okay? And what's fine here, let's say this is our, yeah, root session, root scene. So now let's do scene two and bring them all up now to 10 volts. Five maybe would be enough. This is two, three, four, and five. We have here these eight guys and save this scene. And now you have scene one and you can 
um, morph between scenes. This is really nice. You can morph between sounds, between a lot of stuff. What you, yeah, all you you can, uh, yeah, put val val values in in your in your patch. Uh, you can make scenes and morph between them or jump between them. This is what we will do right now. So now we got this little guy, and this was when when I started here. It was like, oh my god, give this a clock. Okay, let's give this a clock, and nothing is happening. And this is because. For the most um, of these rules, you have to start this guy. You see? I clicked once here. And then it's going on because there's not, nothing to process. The only one would be this 111 or 000. zero. No, the 000. zero zero. That would, would give you a starting point, but not a good one. Okay? And now let's do this like this. And now you see. There are things happening, okay? And these guys I put here um, only to give you a, an optical yeah, impression, yeah? What is happening? This is our active gates over time, okay? You see? And that's mostly what this module does. There's, there are two more things. Um, the first thing, you have these outputs here let's stop this guy stop and um, let me see the value output is look this is this one gives you 2.5 right now and this only um, adds the um, active bits here together and multiplicates them with 1.25 so if they're all together, you get 10 volts. And what this count uh, output does, I don't know it. I tried to figure it out. It was too complicated for me. And yeah, this is chaos. And this works in the same way. It's only a little bit smaller with a few less options, OK? Now let's go quick back to this drum session. I will show you something. Now I connected here the outputs um, to a few modules to have some drum sounds. And let's go here. Let's give this a click. So oh, this one and OK, now it should play. And yeah, try to recognize this um, how do you call it? sequence. OK, now let's jump to another. And, oh, what happened? It's away, okay? This is the first thing I will show you. So, um, let's, wait, let's stop this one here. And let's see what's happening here. We, we have a few rules, okay? Now let's step them. And you see, they disappear. Now, uh, this is right, this is how it has to be. But when you're making drums or stuff like this and you're playing around with this at all 256 possibilities to set rules and you find something that you maybe like but it doesn't work, like this one. Okay, uh, okay let's set here one. You see? It does not work. Now what you can do, you can say, okay, uh, let's trigger this guy from here. Yeah? From this step and maybe this guy from this step or the center guy and let's see what happens okay there's something you, you um, I'm not a math, math, math genius uh, I'm on, only playing around and patching around okay and then and you see I get maybe nothing really nice but I get something that I can work with and then that, um, where I can play with okay Okay, this was too much. Let's give this a... Okay, now let's go back to one. And this is something um, what's always happening as well. Um, if you change these patterns, uh, there will um, be different like scenes happening. You, you can't control that, yeah? So this pattern maybe, or the sequence maybe will sound when you start it. It will have a sequence like this and you go to another scene and switch back and then it's maybe different, okay? 
you can play around with this. And this moi guy is, yeah, real fun. Um, you can program your scenes and then play around with this, okay? And that's mostly it. This is what you can do with chaos. You, you can use it for a lot of stuff, as, of course, to con uh, everything you need a gate for, or you can use it like every sequencer, like an oscillator, and my volume is full, okay? So that's it for today. I hope it was useful to you. Um, get my new album on Bandcamp. I'm the Cliff Factor, and see you with my next video and i hope you have fun with chaos Autom automaton or however this guy is called and yeah that's it cheers <laughs>